Imagine rolling Hell's Kitchen, Master Chef, and Chopped all together. Of course, those are all very popular TV cooking competitions. Rolling them all together and adding a little holiday cheer. The creative juices were flowing at the Hotel Roanoke tonight as teams vied to construct the best gingerbread house. Now you're seeing some of the video here beside us tonight. And 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer was actually there. He shows us how some of the most unqualified builders are going all in for a good cause. Whoa, 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 no more, no more. Even with the precision of an architect, the eye of a foreman, and the patience of a Christmas angel, Down. Brian Simmons still questions how he ended up in charge. I'm not sure. Um, I have some very talented folks with me here this evening. Their team on the quest for the perfect gingerbread house. We're going to do a nose and cheeks. The icing may be soft, but the competition here is stiff. I'm very proud of it. I think the four of us have done a good job. We practiced beforehand, and I think that's what made a difference. Nine teams vying to crush each other. Hotel Rono catering director Linwood Campbell putting out a challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, you have 10 minutes. Bring your best and do it in just 90 minutes. We're taking people out of their comfort zone. You know, when someone works in an office and they really don't cook a lot or do a lot of construction, we want them to have fun and work together as a team. Hotel clients competing with spectators watching closely, raising about $1,000 for the Child Health Investment Partnership of Roanoke Valley putting teamwork out front. Which is what we do. We work in teams of nurses and case managers. It's teamwork around the holidays. It's just fun and it's just full of holiday spirit. It's it's a great event. The judges with the final say. I loved the cotton candy roof at first, but and now it's fall, the roof is on fire. Some faring better than others. Team Elbit taking home first prize, but Simmons and his team still happy to serve especially when it's 25,000 calories at a time. That's part of our vision, values, and goals at Wells Fargo, so volunteering for the community and giving back is what we want to do. In Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. The Hotel Roanoke is sold out for this weekend's Breakfast with Santa benefiting Chip. That's when they'll auction off the gingerbread houses to raise even more money for the nonprofit.